ties to gun violence in America. A hundred plus thousand people are injured by guns. In San Francisco, 80 percent of the homicides to date have been gun related. Of the 52, 42 people have lost their lives to gun violence. You saw just the other day a grieving mother yesterday lamenting about losing almost her entire family to gun violence because someone cut them off in traffic. And so when we hear from the Supreme Court and we hear all their all the benefactors of their decision, the NRA and others announced what a glorious day this is in America. The backdrop we deal with, the reality that we're dealing with in cities across America, the reality that they're not dealing with up there in D.C. is very different. And so when we talk about the issue of gun violence, we have a human face in mind. We have funerals in the back of our minds. We have kids that end up in our emergency rooms in the back of our minds that are maimed for life in the back of our minds. The impact it's having on innocent people as it relates to the impact it's having on their consciousness. Kids at Visitation Valley Middle School who have lost so many friends and family members that live in the backyard right there at Sunnydale Housing Projects and the impact the gun violence is having on their lives, even if they were not directly impact, the impact it's having on their lives. So when people say, what a glorious day it was for freedom in America, what about the freedom to keep people safe in cities across America? That's the freedom we're speaking about. That's the freedom that has driven mayors across this country, like Mayor Rich Daley, to decry and express outrage over the Supreme Court decision. That freedom is a freedom we want to maintain, the freedom to keep the people of the city and county of San Francisco safe that we're trying to advance today. And the one we will advance as it relates to the assault by the National Rifle Association to try to undermine our gun control laws, which as they stand today are among the most restrictive in the nation, and I think that's a good thing. We have over a dozen gun control laws on the books, over a dozen. We, however, feel we can do more and we can do better. And while the NRA wants to point its fingers and find some cases to advance in cities to discredit in terms of their advocacy and efforts, Chicago being their first choice, apparently San Francisco their second, um, we will stand on principle and we will fight back because too many people are losing their lives and the consequences of not doing so are ominous. And so what we're talking about today is specific legislation and specific actions to get guns off the streets in the city and county of San Francisco. I will leave to the chief of police the details and specifics of the five initiatives that we are advancing today, four of which will come from the chief and one significantly from the district attorney who has been a partner with us side by side, step by step, day by day, year after year, advocating the same for common sense restrictions on guns. We were here together about a year ago where we advanced three specific pieces of legislation. One that we believe the NRA will target, and that has to do with trigger locks and storage of guns. We had a 14-year-old, why are we here? In the Western Edition, a 14-year-old that was killed because someone got a gun that happened to be left behind in a home and was playing around with it. She's dead, she's gone, she's not here to testify that it is wrong what the Supreme Court did. But if she were here and alive, she would have something to say about it. I didn't see that picture painted in the Supreme Court decision. But we will fight to keep that law which passed unanimously in the city and county of San Francisco that's overwhelmingly supported by the people of our city intact. And we're proud that the district attorney, the police chief, and the entire board of supervisors, the elected city family, were all on the same page in supporting that. We were also on the same page when we said we don't think it's appropriate that people brandish guns in parks and playgrounds, community centers, county hospitals, county property. My gosh, common sense.